Hello everyone, CryptoTash here today. I'm going to show you guys how to step-by-step -step transfer assets from the Ethereum network to the KuCoin community chain. So yeah guys, it's a very easy process. I'm going to step, yeah, step by step guide you guys through it. So let's start. So first of all, you got to go to the official KCC website, kc.io. I will leave the link in the description. This website is officially made by the KCC team. After that, we go to the ecosystem right here and you press on the KCC bridge. This bridge is also made officially by the KCC team. Once you're on this page, you have to connect your wallet. So you press on this green button, connect your wallet. Uh, MetaMask, you press on MetaMask and you press connect wallet. You gotta fill in your password. So please do that if you're not connected already to unlock your wallet and then, yes, right now connect it. So guys, one, qu one quick tip. If you are doing something new for the very first time, always try it with small amounts to see if it works. Like don't try it with huge amounts or with like a thousand or thousands of dollars. No, just try maybe ten or five dollars because it's still new. You gotta know, you gotta try it, right? If it works, if you're if, if you have the right address and all these other things like that. So in this case, I'm going to transfer five USDT. So I'm gonna press assets USDT, it's already selected. And Ethereum network, so right now I'm on the Ethereum chain, as you guys can see, Ethereum mainnet. So from the Ethereum mainnet to the KCC main network. So I'm gonna press max for the USDT. Then I gotta approve because it's the first time I'm using this bridge. So I gotta approve. It's gonna cost ten dollars a fees. It's just normal for Ethereum, guys. Nothing, nothing too much, nothing too less, just normal. And gotta wait for the confirmation. It takes about 10, 20 seconds, so we'll be right back. And all right, once you're back, you will see tips, approve success, confirm a transaction. So it's all good, it's all good. So as we, as we can see, the transfer fee is zero Ethereum, and we can just press transfer. So it's gotta cost, of course, some uh, fee, but it's the, basically the bridge is zero of charge, it's just the transaction cost of Ethereum. So right now I'm waiting for my confirmation, it also takes like 10 20 seconds and yes it's a success tips confirm transaction again so as you guys can see my transaction history so ethereum network five us dollars right now it's still pending it's gonna take some time but it's a success it's pending on the kcc main net as we see i don't have any ethereum i don't have any usdt on my ethereum network i yeah right now in the transaction history if i click here it's still pending. Once this is done pending, you will have your USD on your yeah, on your KCC mainnet wallet, guys. So I'm just I'll just wait for this pending. You can also click on it, then you can see the amount of details. So right now it's zero percent. It's probably gonna take like between 10 30 minutes as usual for a bridge. And then yeah, guys, this is actually this is how you do the KCC bridge. I'm gonna wait until it's done, finished. I show you guys that I actually do have it on my KCC mainnet net wallet. And yeah, guys, as we can see, the Ethereum side of the bridge has been completed 100%. Right now, we're waiting for the KCC main network. So yeah, I will be right back when it, once that is done. All right, everyone, as you guys can see, I officially uh, have successfully bridged assets from your Ethereum network to the KCC main network. It took around 15 minutes, so sometimes it may take a little bit longer or a little bit shorter than you used to. So yeah, guys, as you can see on my Ethereum wallet, I had five USDT, now it's zero. And if we go to my KCC mainnet, guys, so to my KCC wallet, I just switch the network to KCC mainnet. And then here I will see that I got five USDT. If you don't see this, guys, then you got to add a custom token. So how do you do that? You go to, uh, yeah, you just go scroll down when you see this token, add token. Here we have to fill in the contract address. So how do you get a contract address? So first of all, you go to the KCC Official Explorer. This Official Explorer made by the KCC developers. Then we go to the token and you press on the KRC20. Then you go to the USDT KCC pack tether. You press on their hash address. Then it should take you to the page. Yes, okay, just took some time. You press copy here and then you uh, go to your MetaMask and you go scroll down, add token, you copy the, uh, yeah, you copy the tether, and then it's already added for me. But you guys, uh, you guys can just add it. So that's how you officially add the 
token address of Tether to your wallet. As you guys can see, you got 5 USD bridged from Ethereum to the KCC. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any question at all, please leave it down in the comment below. I will answer to it everything. And have a nice day, everyone.